Hello there and welcome to this video. Today we are looking at how to link your Twitch with your Discord. Let's get right into it. So to show you exactly how this works, I've actually made a new account called Bill Akimbo. So as you can see on the screen, uh, Bill Akimbo has no friends, he has no servers. Um, he's very lonely right now, but he can still connect his Discord to his Twitch. And all he needs to do is go into user settings and you'll see this lovely tab here, connections. And then once you are in connections, you will see all these different logos for uh, websites which you can connect your Discord to. So you have Twitch, uh, YouTube, Battle.net, Steam, uh, Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify, Xbox, and GitHub. So of course, what we want here is to connect our Twitch account to Discord. So we click on the Twitch logo. It comes up with this window here. So as long as you're logged in with your Twitch account, this will come up all fine and dandy. So you click authorize, connect in your Twitch account, boom. There you go. So now you can either toggle on or off to have it on your profile or off your profile. It's up to you, but you probably want it on. So you have this with the light showing. And if there's any reason you actually want to disconnect these accounts, you can just click the X button here and then disconnect. Boom, gone. Now to show that it's actually on your profile and it's visible to everyone who clicks on it, we're gonna go into my server here. I've just joined it as Bill Akimbo. And if you click on here on the uh, list, you'll see view profile. And then under your profile, you'll see Bill Akimbo's Twitch account has been linked. So people who click on your profile now on Discord will see this link. And then you can actually just click on it straight away and go straight to your uh, Twitch profile. Now going one step further, if you are a Twitch affiliate or a Twitch partner, you can actually integrate your Twitch account with your Discord server. So to integrate your Twitch account with your Discord server, you want to click on the drop down menu next to your server name and then click on server settings. Then you want to go into integrations. In here you'll see Twitch and you want to manage this and then you want to click on connect. And as you can see here, I connected mine on the 26th of June this year. And if you click on this button here, you'll be able to uh, find out how many of your subs actually sync their roles. Um, so they, as we saw at the start where you link your Discord account to your Twitch account, your subs have to also do that for them to show up as a role. So I do encourage that to everyone who subs to me. Not everyone who subs to me actually has this uh, role or even has Discord, for example. So you won't have your whole subscriber list here. You're gonna have to have that uh, through Twitch or for, for your own means. But for those who actually have linked their Twitch accounts, they'll all get the role um, also according to the tier. So if people subscribe at tier two or tier three, they'll get uh, their own uh, different role as well. But as you can see here, you can also, uh, once subs have expired, you can even re remove their role. So I, I say, yeah, they can remove their role, but after one day grace period. So they have one day after their um, Twitch subscription has expired um, until it actually disappears in the server. We can also do this, so you can actually kick people, which I don't really recommend because even if they're not a sub anymore, I don't really think it's worthwhile kicking them, but that's all for you to decide. But to add on to that, if you do have a subscriber only Discord server, then this feature will actually be pretty useful. And if you want to extend the grace period, you can. Um, I've just kept with the default one day, but if you want to go further, you are welcome to do so. And then as you can see here, I've got my random uh, Twitch emotes. Um, if you take this button here, you can actually have them synced in to Discord. So they can use all the emotes, but they can use them in Twitch and also use them in Discord, which I don't see why you would tick off really. That's a very cool little feature to um, give to your subs so that they can share your emotes all over the place. Now, before I finish the video, I did mention those Twitch roles, which they give you when, once you integrate your server. These are the roles here. So you've got the three different tiered uh, subscription levels. Uh, uh, what I've done is just change the color slightly on the custom color picker. Um, so the higher tier they are, the lighter it goes. Um, that's just my creative uh, part I've put into this, but you can put whatever you want into it. You can change them to different colors. You can change the names to something else. It re it's really up to you there, but that these are the ones which come with the Twitch integration. 
So yeah, hopefully that's helped you link your Twitch account to your Discord account. Um, but if you do have any more queries or questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And I'll get around to them as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it, please do like the video and subscribe for more. Um, and yeah, have a lovely rest of your day. See you next time.